experiencing grief and loss uh, in this most holy of seasons. Um, now, this loss isn't always just about the loss of a person uh, or people at this time of the year. It is also about the losses that all of us are experiencing um, in this odd time that we're living through. Uh, the pandemic season has forced all of us to confront uh, loss and grief, grief around um, not being able to celebrate in the ways that we love to do not being able to gather with family uh, in the way that we are accustomed to doing it. And so this service is for you, it is for all of us, and please join us in your printed order of service that you would have received uh, through your parish emails. You may also find it in, uh, linked in the comments below this video.
For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the words of my groaning? O oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. And you our ancestors trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb, you who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. God does not despise the afflictions of the afflicted. God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Isaiah 40 Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places plain. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The voice says, cry out, and I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass, their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span, 
enclose the dust of the earth in a measure, and weigh the mountains in scales and hills in a balance. Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, or has his counselor has instructed him? Who did he consult for his enlightenment, and who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. To whom, then, will you liken God, or what likeness will you compare with him? An idol? A workman casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts it for silver chains. As a gift, one chooses mulberry wood, wood that will not rot, then seeks out a skilled artisan to set up an image that will not topple. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows upon them, and they wither and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see. Who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name, because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them.
We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss. Loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, loss of faith, the loss of joy. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O oh God, and we offer it to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands you will place the gift of peace, shalom. We remember that through you all, all things are possible. Refresh, restore, renew us, O oh God, and lead us into your future. of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear, the anger and pain. We accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short, and the times we've spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have suffered. We accept and lay before you the time we've walked alone, in darkness and in, and in knowledge of our own mortality. We remember that though we have journeyed far, and that while lost, we may have turned away from the light, the light itself has not failed. We remember that though winter be upon us, and though the night be dark, with the turning of the wheel, and dawn will come, and dawn defeats the darkness.
gift of light and hope that God offers to us in the story of Christmas, which began in insecurity and humbleness in a poor stable. We remember that the loving God who came to share this life with us promises us comfort and peace. We remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to the light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. God of wisdom, we come to you this Christmas season tired, in turmoil and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest night, we ask your healing blessings upon all that we carry in our hearts. Sorrow we fear may never end, wounds we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt has changed our experiences of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, but someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and alone. We are weary from the journey, and we have found no room at the inn. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. God of grace, in the spirit of the season, grant us all we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all of us, both here and throughout the world, who wander or want or weep or are heavy laden, that we may be lifted up in courage and journey on in thy peace. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. God of love, in this Christmas season, we embrace and offer up to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us, and it cannot be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and fears of what may be weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace. Be near to us this night until the light returns and morning comes. Lord, hear our prayer, and in your merciful love, answer. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. 
and give thy angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for thy love's sake. Amen. from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea in the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. The story we celebrate this season tells us how in a little hill town, a homeless couple, off to pay their taxes, took shelter in a stable among the animals and gave birth to a light that would change the world. Let us pray. Gentle, Gentle God of love, love, help us reach, reach out together, together for the light of faith, for renewal and recovery, and a new day coming. Grant that hope may come to rest in our hearts and let it go forth with us into, into the darkness, darkness this night and in the nights to come, until we see the dawn. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O God. Give us light in the night season, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. Amen. Amen.
thine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, the God that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon at night. The Lord shall persevere thee from the he all evil, and shall sustain thy soul. He shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forward forevermore. Let us pray. Almighty God, God we, we thank you for your constant love and, and for the blessings of this day. We know that even when we cannot see or feel you, still you are there. Help us to remember you and to, and to listen for your voice in the words of family, friends, friends and strangers. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you reveal yourself in the world and in our lives. Let the light of your Holy Spirit shine like these candles in the darkness, lighting the way for all who feel despairing, lost, or forgotten, and then grant that it may come to dwell so deeply in our hearts that when we leave this place, it may shine on for us and for those we meet along the way. Amen.
Let us pray. Another day will come, O God. I know not what it may bring forth, but make me ready. God, for whatever it may be, if I am to stand up, help me stand bravely. If I am to sit still, help me to sit quietly. If I am to lie low, help me to do it patiently. And if I am to do nothing, help me to do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give me the spirit of thy peace. Amen. O oh God, support us all the day long in this troubled life, until the shadows lengthen and the even comes, and the busy world is hushed, and the fever of life is over, and our work is done. Then, Lord, in thy mercy, grant us safe lodging and a holy rest, and peace at last. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. you.